Roofing in The Sims 4. We all struggle with it, right? Remember when in The Sims 3 we had auto roofs? None of that in The Sims 4. So that's why today I'm gonna teach you how to roof in The Sims 4. So here I have created some shells for me to roof. Let's start with the easiest one. So this is just a rectangle, right? I usually use this gabled roof. I think it looks the nicest. So the first thing I'm gonna do is see the shape of my shell, right? It's uh, obviously a rectangle, not a square. So I, I want to place my gabled roof so the open section faces the shorter side of the rectangle. First of all, 45 angles, that's just way too much. I'm gonna lower it down a little bit first. So what I mean by that is we do this instead of this. It just looks nicer this way, doesn't it? But now the roof is looking really plain. It, the shell is just a rectangle. Why you would be in this position, I don't know. Maybe you're doing a shell challenge that's just a rectangle. But what I'm gonna do is copy this roof so I can add a few accents on the roof right there. Maybe make them a bit taller. And there we have it. An okay looking roof line on this rectangle right here. Let's move on to the next one. Now let's problem solve this. First we're gonna find the biggest section of the shell, right? Just like in the previous one. Like so. And then we want to break the break off the rest of the shell into sections, which would be we find one right here and two right here. And then we just have to do the front. So why I always want to copy my previous roofs instead of grabbing a new one from here is to keep the pitch the same. But now what about this one? Again, there is the biggest section of the shell. Let's get that over and done with first. And then we have a smaller section here. We can put a roof there as well. And then this front part as well. Make sure it doesn't clip on the back. But then this piece right here. So if I try to put a roof there like this, then it creates this weird um, V shape right here, which is unrealistic because if it was to rain, all the water would gather in the middle of it. So we don't want to do that. So what do we do instead? Uh, we combine this section with this section. We want to grab this roof, put it in the middle where we want them to join, and then extend it so that it merges with the bigger roof. Right here, it's uh, this Eve is creating this weird division right there. We don't want that. When you shift click and drag this arrow right here, you can only remove the Eve from one side. I'd call this one done. And then on the other side here, I have created even more monstrosities for me to roof. First, we want to find the biggest section to roof first again. So that would be this one right here. Put a roof on that. Lower the picture a little bit so we don't have this huge ugly piece of wall right there. Get the easier parts of the roof out of the way first. There we have all the easy parts of the roofs done. But then we have this section in the back here. So what we could do is roof it as is. Maybe I'd put it this way to match the pitch of the existing roofs. But what I would do instead if I was building this house is actually put a balcony right there. I'm just gonna pick a random fence, doesn't really matter on the tutorial here. I would fence off this section to make it into a balcony instead. That of course depends on your preference on what you want to do. Then we have these sections in the front with the awkward diagonal pieces. So what do we do with that? If we go on the roof section, you can see that there are these shapes 
right here. So we're gonna grab this octagonal roof right here and we want to make it match this. But if I just make it the same width as this piece right here, you can see it doesn't match really, does it? So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger until it matches. And to match the other roofs, I'm gonna drag the eave out a little bit. But now it clips from the side and from the balcony as well. So what do I do about that? There's no fix for that really. So what I would do in this situation, I would just move this so it doesn't clip. Of course, that won't remove the clipping on the balcony. So in this situation, I just wouldn't put a balcony there because the seam still does have its limitations. We have to work with what we have. And there we have it. And then right here, we have this monstrosity. So again, I would start by putting this gabled roof at the top on the biggest rectangle. Copy that right here. Or again, I could make this into a balcony if I wanted, like so. And we finish off the rest. But what about this diagonal piece at the back here? No worries, there's diagonal roof pieces as well. So we just grab a diagonal gabled roof, slam it right on there. Now you could call it done right here, but as I was saying on the previous shell as well, the top right here is looking a little bit empty. So I could also add these dormers up there if I wanted, just to make it a bit more interesting. And there we have it. That's all of the roofs done. I hope this helped you tackle some of those roof lines a bit more easily. If you're interested in seeing more tutorials, do follow me on YouTube and on TikTok. And if this tutorial helped you, please give it a like. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.